click on the subscribe button to watch more videos on my youtube channel to get latest notifications and updates about my videos click on this bell icon hi friends in this video i am going to explain about the group manager and the group uh, boundary box I'll explain uh, this tutorial in my previous tutorial I already explained how to create this groups and ungroup and the group edit already explained again I'm grouping the object see the grouping object is available on the screen you can observe on the screen and this is the grouped object and go on to the group edit I want to explain the group manager I want to rename this already explained add objects and remove objects of the group edit I am renaming this object rename click on the rename and enter a new name for a group i am giving the group one and click on enter after that the group name is the name of the object is created is called as a group one i name it as group one and go on to the groups on the below small icon and the group manager open the group manager see the group one is created the group name you want to give the any description of this group name you can also give the group description to this group name i'm giving the new group for example like this you want to highlight like this you want to highlight see the total of the group is object is highlighted because it is in a group you want to change the file name you can also use the file name and click on the object then you can observe the grouped objects like this you can this is the one simple tutorial i'm explaining for the beginners i want to create a new group you can also use the new group you want to add or remove or rename or description explode or selectable and go on to this change group i want to remove the object i'm selecting the object where you want to remove i'm selecting this rectangle and click on enter and click on ok again the dialog box will appear and click on ok see the object is removed from the group these two are in a group and the top of the rectangle is not in a group uh, see this is the method and again go on to the group manager I want to explain the group manager classic group is the command and the object grouping the dialog box will appear and select the group I want to add the object again and select the object and click on enter see the object is added again and click on ok see the object is added to the it's called as a group the group is created you want to remove or add object by using the group manager you can remove and add objects you can also use the group edit also you can add or remove the objects and this the group name see and select the group and go on to the rename you can also give the rename and i want to explode this and click on explode and click on ok all of the objects are exploded see all of the three rectangles are exploded and the hatch is also exploded i'll explain in my previous tutorial in detail what is group and ungroup and the group edit you can also check my previous tutorials i want to give the group manager the previous object grouping uh, is not available because the group is exploded you want to create new one you can you should create a, another new file this is about the group manager and the group manager consists of this type of operations and the group and see again i'm creating the group i'm selecting the all of the objects by simply click on the group and click on enter and select after selecting the objects one of the group is created like this uh, see these groups are mainly useful for the typical drawings and the group manager and I want to use the group boundary box you want to on the group you should on the group bounding box on then boundary box will appear already I explained about the group selection if you on the group selection and the group boundary box what will appear I will explain in this tutorial and see the full tutorial and group selection box I am awning and the see if you on the off the group boundary box the boundary box will boundary box will not observe on the scheme if you on the boundary box the point is created and the boundary box also is created you can move the object from one place to another it depends upon the only the group boundary box is on or not 
both will on the uh, group selection set and group bond reverse both should be on to move the object if you off the group selection set you mm, does not move the object in a proper position see if you should on the group selection set and the group boundary box then the boundary is created bounding is created and with the group is also selection of all of the group, group you select simply you can move the object <laughs>